So, ang next question natin, guys. So, kamusta kayo? Ganda ng view, no? Bawal mag-shoot dito, pero magaling kami. <laughs> next question galing kay Federic Salvador Boco. Yung ating, ano, you know, ka-aim global na nanalo na FJ Cruiser. Sabi niya, ano pinagkaiba ng mga top earners at average distributors? More than the work ethic na kailangan magsipag, ano yung meron ang mga top earners na wala ang most distributors? Bakit sila nagiging top earners? And how do they stay being top earners? <coughs> okay, so ano ba yung wala sa mga top earners na meron sa, ah, wala sa, ano, ano yung wala sa top earners na, bleh, ano yung meron sa top earners na wala sa mga average distributors? Experience ko, number one dyan is, they always think, sundin mo lang to ah, una is, wala silang pakialam sa iniisip na ibang tao. Alam nila, di ba? Uh, maganda yung ginagawa nila. So, yung mga average distributors, lagi silang may pakialam sa iniisip na ibang tao. That's why they become not top earners. Yung mga top earners, lagi silang walang pakialam. They don't care if they get rejected. They don't care if yung mga tao, um, ano sabihin sa kanila. Di ba? Para silang mga artista na kahit na umiyak, tumawa, they don't really care. Pangalawa, nakatangi yan is they think na sila yung pinakamagaling. Kung baga parang sila yung na, kung meron, kung i-gage nila sa sarili nila, 100% sila sila yung 1,000%. Almost egoistic na ang tingin nila sa sarili nila. Sobrang galing nila. So dahil meron sila ganung mindset, may believe silang sobrang galing nila, they become even more convincing and even more confident na wala again sa mga average. Uh, kasi usually, yung mga top earners, the uh, Tingin nila sila yung pinakamagaling, sila pinakapogi, sila pinakamalapit sa lahat. And uh, it helps them in building their business. Bakit? Kasi madalas sa mga tao, they're attracted sa mga tao na they think na meron silang feeling of confidence around them and feeling nila magaling yung kasama nila. Okay? And ayun yung madalas napapansin ko na katangay ng mga top earners na number one, wala silang pakialam. Number two, they think sila yung pinakamagaling. Okay, so ibig sabihin hindi mo sila pwede ma-question, hindi mo sila pwede ipagsabihan. Ganun lagi yung thinking nila. And they draw a lot of people towards them because ganun yung klase ng mindset nila. Uh, yung another question mo is, ano, um, uh, more than the work ethic, di ba? So ayun, more than the work ethic, of course, given na yung dapat masipag ka, given na yung disiplinado ka, given na yung talagang nag-work hard ka. And uh, aside from that, eto nga, na wala, si, wala ka dapat pakilam, pangalawa, you think ikaw pinakamagaling. Kahit na may mas magaling sa'yo, pero para sa'yo, sa mundo mo, ikaw pinakamagaling. And tuwing nag-represent ka, imagine mo yung mga tao, kung ano kaya magiging reaction if alam mo na ikaw pinakamagaling, they'll probably get attracted to you instantly. And since na wala kang pakilam, di ba, you even draw more attention towards you. Um, another is yung ano, yung tinatanong mo is how they they stay be, to become top earners um, usually yung mga top earners meron silang ano unstoppable and breakable mindset na almost na para silang mayabang na alam nila na kaya nilang gawin yung lahat ng bagay and because they stay top earners lagi silang at state yung ano sila parang umulan bumagyo umaraw they always stay focused and positive yung attitude nila towards their goals And uh, by doing this, lalo silang ano, um, lalo sila, lalo nila nare-remain yung ganong klaseng feeling. Kasi ano, in order to become a top earner consistently, dapat meron kang constant feeling din consistently sa'yo na you know that you can achieve success, you know that you can get it, you know na kahit ano mangyari, magiging number one ka, you'll make a lot of money, ma-achieve mo yung dreams mo. Okay? Although each and every top earner, iba-iba goals, iba, iba-iba yung mga trip nila sa buhay. Pero yung underlying factor, if you observe carefully, wala silang pakialam, they think sila pinakamagaling, and clearly focus sila dun sa goal nila. Okay? And of course, kasama ni work ethic dun na talagang tuloy-tuloy uh, sila, na to the point na, alam mo, ma-achieve nila yung goals nila, na mabilis. Okay? So, massive talagang maggalawan mga top earners. Massive. So, anyway, Frederick, I know marami kang natutunan dun. Um, remember, ang business natin sa network marketing. And then, within two years' time, you couldn't achieve financial freedom. All you have to do is really exert the effort and focus. So this is Marco Maliari. This is Beyond Networking. Bye.